Hey, hey how you guys? Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Right. Doing good. So the first season is done. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's an episode where Batno inadvertently chomps up some. Uh, <laughs> some scrumps. <laughs> no. Some from, yeah. yeah. So, um, when we were at WonderCon, we were asking about your character, like, you can live like, with every year. I think we had that piece of background, or like, uh, that mystic piece. So, do you think that's going to be able to play these two? That, I, you know what? I, I didn't think about that, but that'll be fun. That'll be fun to explore. Um, yeah, I don't know. They haven't really told me anything whether it will go down down that path. But um, but in regards to eating eating like the like the brain. Well, it was funny. Like a, like the like a, it was like a, an episode before that or two episodes before that. Like he has his food, his face all up in um and lives food. And I'm like, all right, Clive's kind of greedy, you know, and 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 definitely. <laughs> Don't, doesn't respect people food space. I mean, it's no threat. <laughs> and I remember shooting that scene. I was I was snipping it like this. I mean, you know, they, like they're like no closer. I'm like, it was a closer. I'm like, really? Next thing you know, and I'm like, I have to be like this. <laughs> and I have to work with it. You know, I, I work. I'm like, all right, well, I gotta make that work. Maybe he's a little greedy. Um, and then. Uh, <laughs> And then with the piece of chomping scene, um, it was my first time getting to taste the brain. You know, I, uh, Rose has to do it every episode, and then, then I was so excited. And then I'm like, I'm I'm okay with that being a one-time experience. That that it tastes terrible. I couldn't I couldn't eat pizza for I couldn't eat pizza for a week after. That. You're a detective, and it seems natural that you'll find out the secret uh, because you're a detective. But um, do you want to find out? Do you want to stay in the dark as a character, not knowing the secret? Yeah, you know, I think eventually, you know, Clive will find out. He, you know, he'll find out eventually, but it's not going to be as easy as I think, because um, obviously the public and is in is in is into it, and I think people want to know how he's going to react. Um, but um, I think I think um, uh, Rob put it the best. He was kind of like like in Superman, Lois Lane sees Clark every day, and we all know that's Superman, um, but she doesn't know. I mean, all he does is wear wear these glasses. So I think they're going to work that they're going to play with it in, in, in that respect for as long as it works. Okay. Yeah. You said one of the best lines I thought in that uh, uh, scene with the um, uh, Eastern European uh, escort and the guy interrupts you just like, thank you for your citizenship. Oh, thank you for your citizenship. Brilliant yeah. Delivery. Yeah. yeah. Oh, delivery. thank you, man. So thank you. <laughs> it's like, thanks, but no thanks. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And they allow me to really take that to heart and play with that. So every episode, you know, for myself, I ask, what does Clive know now as a detective and as a professional that he didn't know um, last episode? And so, obviously, in the, in the, in the pilot, I had to pick a starting point and build from that um, um, uh, per episode. So it's been, um, that's been, I, that, that's been great. I, I, I've loved that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, thank you, thank you. And he's a low man on the totem pole, and everybody still reminds him. They always remind him. Everybody, like, you're still the low man on the totem pole, so he still has something to prove, you know. But yeah, thank you. Oh, all right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.